YouTubers, welcome to yet another beer review. The last beer review today from the Wharf. And the last beer review in a half year from the Wharf. I'm yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but I'll be back. I'll be back for the 10 year anniversary. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully. Yeah. Well, it was in Ju July? Yeah, July, July, the oh, kind of the end. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're uh, going to review a beer we brought ourselves. Okay. Thank you for letting us. Uh, and throw you some yeah. um, this is a beer by McKellar, and uh, this is the McKellar Beer Hop Breakfast. I've already reviewed this, but this is the tequila barrel aged version. It's got a real cool label of a tequila, or a tequila, like that. an agave, blue agave kind, I guess, serving uh, tequila from a coffee pot. <laughs> and it's, the artwork is made by Keith Shore. Now, uh, the beer hop breakfast was a take on the McKellar Big Geek breakfast, just hopped up. I wasn't too impressed by it, it's pretty solid, but I prefer, I much prefer the regular version and the beer, beer, beer Geek bacon, which is my favorite of the Beer Geek series because I love smoked beers. So, Oatmeal stout or barrel aged. Okay, they said this is a black IPA on the label. Because hmm. as far as I know, when I had the uh, hop, uh, beer, beer, beer Geek, Beer Geek Breakfast, no. Beer Hop Breakfast, that's a name. It did say uh, Black IPA, but apparently they call this a Black IPA. It says, brewed with water, malt, uh, oats, hops, coffee, and yeast, and then it's age of tequila barrels, it's 7.5%. Uh, label made by Keith Shore. Yeah. Pitch Black. Yep. It, it looks a lot like the uh, regular uh, McKellar Beer Geek Breakfast. Yeah, with uh, ten, ten head. It's still your own. We had tequila barrels right away. Yeah. But it does it, it does have that agave aroma, but this smells like more like tequila like the shot yeah. you take. Yeah, exactly. But there's a lot of coffee as well and kind of Yeah, a lot of creamy oat meaty yeah. kind of mo mostly coffee. It doesn't smell like a black IP to me. Oh, no. I don't get much hops in here. Maybe a little bit of a herbal note, but I I'm pretty sure that's from the tequila barrel. Yeah. Maybe some slightly roasted. But maybe yeah, I, I'd say I still call this like an oatmeal stout instead of more so a black IPA because this is not smelling hoppy enough to be a black IPA. But yeah, but um, a little bit of a tartness to it. Oh yeah, oh, it's like yeah, I was tired. Sorry, <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a dark chocolatey. But the most dominant thing is that tequila aroma and yeah. agave kind of herbal note. But this smells more like it's shot of tequila than the black hole. Yeah. Um, certainly smells interesting. And I'm guessing the tartness is from that too. Yeah, from the plant. Yeah, from the plant yeah. cheese kind of thing. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Well, doesn't taste like a black IPA. No. Nope. But it does have a lot of tequila taste. And some it citrus. It has all citrus. citrus. Yeah, it does have the blue, uh, some citrus hops. That is kind of unique, quite unique. Wow, it's got an interesting aftertaste. Yeah. The first part of the palate is just dominated by roasted malt, and then you get like real sweet, lightly tart tequila like flavor, the yeah. agave kind of. And it tastes more like tequila, as I said, or like in the aroma, than like the agave kind of fruit uh, or floral kind of herbal aroma as the yeah. like, oh, But then it dries out to kind of like a real salt and coffee bitterness. Yeah. Together with some tequila. Yeah. I wouldn't say it tastes the alcohol, really, but it's only only 7.5. There's a bit of a, a red grape there in the first set. Yeah, kind of like red wine, white lilies. Yeah. It has, it's funny, it has that tartness, um, but it doesn't linger as in a sour ale. Oh, no, no, no. I guess the tartness must be from the barrels. From or the, the uh, like, uh, but from the plant, the plant juice. Well, the plant juice uh, is uh, in there. Uh, just from the barrel. Uh, <laughs> tequila. tequila. I guess yeah. it's from the tequila barrels, yeah. uh, because the wood absorbs all the flavor. Yeah. I, I guess that's why you get that kind of tartness. Because okay. it doesn't taste infected. No, no, no. What, you get a lot, a very distinct kind of sharpness to it. Not crispness, but tart, sharpness. Tart, 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 I'd say. Probably tart, tart. But there is. But it, it's actually fun because. It's actually interesting because the tart, uh, um, 
tequila like flavor just goes into a peak and then fades quickly. Yeah. And then you just left with this real big coffee bitterness. Almost chalky. Yeah, and a little bit of licorice and coffee, uh, yeah. coffee chocolate yeah. in the aftertaste. Exactly. Exactly. The aftertaste is actually a lot like the regular beauty, uh, breakfast. Yeah, it is. Just with a little bit of uh, the tequila flavor. Yeah. The rating wise, me for the uh, McCuller beer cup breakfast barrel aged edition, tequila barrel aged edition. Um, I'm gonna give it a 73. It's a good beer. Uh, but it, it's kind of gone on. Uh, it's kind of got some kind of strange flavor components because of the aging on, uh, on tequila barrels. It could have been done better. Yeah, my first thoughts were around 80s, but actually this do have some kind of flaws. It doesn't really play well. I don't think it plays too well at all. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't play well with the tequila. And the it, it's not as as nearly as good as these. So, but anyways, I'm landing it in. 75. It's, it's, it's nothing. It's still a good beer. It's a good beer. It's, 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 it's a good show how tequila... But, if, if they but the main thing, I think, is that they call this a black IPA. So yeah. It's still a good beer, but style-wise, even though we don't rate our style, uh, I think this is way off. So yeah, guys, that does it for this beer review. A 72 for me and a 75 from Jakob Bolli. Make our beer hot breakfast, barrel aged tequila edition. Uh, remember to let us know what you think of this brew if you've had it. Do you think that this is better than the uh, Black Hole Tequila Edition? Let us know. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're going to say cheers. Cheers. We're going to see you guys in the next